A Christmas carol, a morality tale, I'm gonna wrap the plot and try not to fail. The story's written to make you quail, it begins with old Marley as dead as a doornail. Ebenezer Scrooge thinks he's a winner, but he's a clutching, covetous old sinner, his appearance is cold, hard, sharp and thin, no warmth could warm, no wind to chill him. Scrooge's clerk is Bob Cratchit, barely given a matchstick, a humble soul with a fire burning from a single coal. Scrooge's nephew Fred bursts on the scene, Fred's all in the glow, his eyes just gleam, he says Merry Christmas, God save you, Scrooge says bar and humbug too. Two gentlemen arrive asking for donations, they don't know Scrooge's reputation. Scrooge rises to the occasion, if they would rather die, said Scrooge, they'd better do it and decrease the surplus population. Scrooge goes back to his lonely house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Scrooge stares at the knocker on his door, Marley's face appears and there will be more. Other signs of haunting start to appear, hearse flies, bell ring calls mountain fear. Ghost Marley then appears with enormous chains, he rattles and shakes and howls in pain. <laughs> These are the chains are forged in life, link by link, from causing so much strife. Scrooge asks if there is chance and hope. Marley says there will be three ghosts. Scrooge isn't sure if this is fair. Then he hears confused noises in the air. Endless phantoms bound in chains. Too late for them to shake the blame. Scrooge says humbug. He is at least consistent. Goes to bed and falls asleep on the instant. At Teach Smith. Christmas Carol, stave one. <laughs>